Welcome back to our classroom. This video is focused on two things. One, to solve the simple equations that result from matrices and to apply matrices to real world situations. So our objectives are to equate matrices and by equating them, use them to solve simple equations, to write matrices to represent information and to use those matrices to solve simple problems. Let's start. Suppose we have this situation where here, where we have this matrix multiplied by this matrix gives us this. So given that this matrix 2, negative 3, 1, 2 times x negative 1 equal this matrix negative 2, y plus 3, negative 1. How do we go about finding the values of x and y? We have already gone through how to multiply two matrices, and so we're just going to dive right in. So, we write on our matrices 2, negative 3, 1, 2, and we're going to multiply that by x, negative 1. And when we're done, that is going to be equal to negative 2, y, plus 3, and negative 1. So let's do our check. This here is a 2 by 2, and this here is a 2 by 1. That tells us that we can multiply them, and our answer is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix, like this one. So let's multiply. We're going to have row by column. So 2 multiplied by x here gives us 2x, plus negative 3 times negative 1 here gives us a positive 3. For the second row, 1 times x gives us x, and 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 2. That multiplication being finished. The other side of the equation says negative 2 plus 3, and y plus negative 1. So let's tidy, tidy this up a little bit. Here we have 2x plus 3, and here we have x minus 2, and this is equal to negative 2 plus 3 is 1, and y plus negative 1 is the same thing as y take away 1. So how can we find our x and our y? Well, this piece, this is equal to this, so we can write down that equation by saying 2x plus 3 is equal to 1. We can solve this equation now. 2x is equal to 1, take away 3, so 2x is equal to negative 2, and therefore x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2, which tells us that x is equal to negative 1. Now that we know that x is negative 1, the other part of the equation says x minus 2 is equal to y minus 1. We know the value of x, so we can say, substitute it here, negative 1 minus 2 is equal to y minus 1. And so negative 1 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to y. And that tells us clearly that y is equal to negative 2. And so by equating our matrices, we can find the solutions to the x and the y, the value of the x and the y that are there. These questions are all taken from CXE past papers, and so it, it's useful to practice with them. All right, let's look at another one where we have to equate. Here we have to multiply two two by two matrices, and these two matrices, here we have a x and a y, and in this one we have a a and a b. So let's set up our multiplication x, 2, negative 1, y, multiplied by 2, negative 1, 3, 1, and that gives us 8, a, b, 5. It's always a good check to, when you finish to make sure that whatever you get here, that they're actually the same. Um, so let's multiply row by column, row by column row by column, row by column. All right, so let's go. So this row multiplies this column. x multiplied by 2 gives us 2x. And 2 plus 2 times 3 here gives us 6. 
So x times two is two x and two x times two times three here gives us six. All right, now let's multiply the other one. Row by column, x times minus one gives us a minus x and two times one gives us two. So x times minus one is minus x and two times one is two. Go to the second row. Negative one times two is negative two plus y times three gives us three y. In this row now times this, negative one times one gives us a positive one and y times one gives us y. We have finished that multiplication. And now we're going to equate it to 8a, b, 5. So we have a lot of things to work out. First up, we have 2x plus 6. This one being equal to 8. That's our first equation. So let's write that down. 2x plus 6 gives us 8. And that tells us that 2x is equal to 8, take away 6, which means that 2x is equal to 2, and x is therefore equal to 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So we have found the value for x. Second, here we see that minus x plus 2 is equal to a. So let's write that down. Minus x plus 2 is equal to a. We have the value for x. It is 1. So substituting it here, minus 1 plus 2 gives us a, which tells us that a is equal to 1. Here, we have 2 plus 3y is equal to b. This and this. 2 plus 3y is equal to b. We cannot solve this yet because there are two unknowns. So we need to find what, what y is first by using the other equation. And the other equation here tells us that 1 plus y is equal to 5. So we have 1 plus y is equal to 5. So let this be the third one, which tells us that y is equal to 5. Take away 1. So y is equal to 4. So we have three of the values already. And now that we know that y is 4, we can use that value to find b. So 2 plus 3 times 4 is equal to b. So 2 plus 12 is equal to b. And therefore, b is equal to 14. And so we have found our answers. a is 1. b is 1. b is 14, rather. Um, a is 1, B is 14, X is 1, and Y is 4. And so from time to time, these kind of questions will pop up on your CXC paper. Um, the, issue, the idea is to just equate them, do the multiplication, do the multiplication correctly, equate them, and once you equate them, you'll be able to see where you can form equations by equating um, the particular part of the matrices that are equal to each other and solving those equations to get your answer. Now let's look at some applications. This table below shows the types of matrices, shows types of types and number of drinks which Mary and Jane buy each week. So Mary buys these drinks each week and Jane buys these drinks each week. So Mary buys five malt, three juice, and six sorrel, and Jane buys two malt, seven juice, and four sorrel. We are told to show this information as a two by two matrix. It's set up nice and beautifully there for us already. So we no, no need to, to have um to to worry about it. So part one and part two. Let's put those into in the in the same question. We're gonna call it P. And it says two rows and, and, and three columns. There's the row. 5, 3, 6, and the, call, and, and the other row, 2, 7, 4. So notice that the matrix has two rows and three columns. So part 1 and part 2 are answered. Part 3, 
the cost of a malt is two dollars the cost of a juice is 150 and the cost of a soil is one dollar write a color matrix q to represent that represent that information so q is going to be that matrix it says write a column matrix so we have to put those in a column and there are three costs so it's two and 1.5 or one dollar fifty cents and one dollar for that one to be consistent let us add the zeros there all right so we have part three and now part four says we are to calculate that matrix product pq so pq notice the order says p q p first five three six two seven four multiplied by two one point five and one remember these are money so dollars and cents matter um let's let's multiply to get an idea of what the costs are this is two rows and three columns so it's two by three and this is three by one so our answer is going to have two rows on one column and the inside here tells us that the matrices can be multiplied together so we have five times two five times two is ten row times column first times first second times second third times third so five times two that make ten three times one point five is four point five um six times one that gives us six here second row times the column two times two gives us four seven times one point five gives us ten point five and four times one gives us four all right so let's add this up 10 plus 6 that's 16 and 16 plus 4 that's 20 so this is 20.5 and here 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 10 is 18 that's 18.5 so we are finished with our multiplication. And remember that um, since we're dealing with um, costs, this here is actually dollars. So part five is asking what information is given um, in, in um, what information is given each number in the matrix. Okay, in the resulting matrix. Oh, I think this should be by. Um, I wasn't noticing that in the question. What information is given by each number in the resulting matrix? All right. So this is the resulting matrix. We have two numbers, 20.5 and 18.5. There are two persons, Mary and Jane. It means, therefore, that Mary would have spent Mary would have spent $20.50 on drinks and Jane would have spent $18.50 also on drinks. So this, these numbers represent the cost of the drinks. And that's exactly what um, each number is telling us. Cost of drinks per week for each, um, for each of, the, of the ladies represented in the question here. So these kind of questions pop up from time to time. Um, when they do, this is how you handle them. And let's look at a final one where we have a superstore sells three models of phones. Model A costs $40, Model B costs $55, and Model C costs $120. And it's similar to the, to the previous question. And then we have the sales for, for two weeks of Model A, B, and C. So we're to write down a three by two matrix. So in part one here, let's write down a three by two matrix. Like it's already set up nice and pretty for us. So we have three rows, one, two, three rows. So we have two, five, three, and zero, six, ten. It says no model A. So it's zero, six, ten. So we have our three rows, one, two, three rows, two columns, week one, week two, each model. 
Part two says write down a matrix of size one by three. So part two, we need a one by three matrix, which means one row and three columns. So it's a column matrix and to represent the cost. So the cost star model A is $40. Model B is $55. And model C is $120. So we have written it down, model A, model B, model C. That answers part two. And now we're asked to look at, write down the multiplication of the two matrices, which represents the superstores taken from the sales. So it says, write it down. So this question doesn't tell us which order to write it. So we can write it this way. We can say, let's call this um, S for sales and C for cost. So if we say S multiplied by C, then we have two, zero, five, six, three, ten, multiplied by 40, 55, 120. Um, notice as it is that two by three, three rows rather, three rows, two columns here, and this is one row and three columns here. This multiplication is not possible. As it is, it's not possible. Um, it's not possible because these two numbers on the inside are not the same. What we can do though is that we can transpose this matrix. And if we transpose this matrix, we can get it to be a two by three. So we can transpose S, so we can write S transpose which is going to be equal to, take the first row, make it into the first column. So the, sorry, take the first column and make it into the first row. Well, it's, it's the same either way. Take the first column, run it across the first the, the row. So we get two, five, three. So the first column becomes the first row. And the second column, zero, six, 10, becomes the second row. And now we can easily write it beside this one, if we transpose this one too, so we have C transpose. Um, which becomes now 40, 55, 120. So this is one way. Another way, it, 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 did, it did just say write down the multiplication. So we could write on the multiplication another way by saying C S C times S, in which case we could write 40, 55, 120, and then that multiplies by 2, 0, 5, 6, 3, 10. And here this would be a 1 by 3, and this would be a 3 by 2. And so the multiplication would be possible there. Um, because the question didn't say how you should, a student may write it down this way and expect to get the full answers for it, depending on the examiner, not sure. But the, 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 when you write a matrix, it's supposed to show how, it's supposed to be um, in a way that it can be multiplied. So here we are, C times S and S transpose, C transpose, same result. Um, just that S comes first and, and C comes after. So this is how we looked at matrices when we're applying them to practical situations. And we take that information. It will not always be as properly organized as this. Sometimes it will just be sentences and you have to organize it yourself. But the idea is that you take those numbers, you arrange them in matrices, and you make sure that you um, perform your multiplications accurately and complete the question to get all the marks that you can. Thank you for watching and continue working hard.